Hi, my name's Reva and I am recording a video of me making some 3D Bloom resin coasters. Believe me, I have no idea how these are going to turn out. My process is extremely messy. I uh, mess up more than make something beautiful. So just come along with me. We'll see how these turn out. Hopefully, okay. Uh, here I'm pouring tea expert one-to-one -one ratio crystal clear epoxy resin into these molds uh putting some aside for my white uh, i'm going to be making a red orange and yellow alcohol ink 3d bloom hopefully if all goes well um got a little something in there gotta take it out uh this is i'm new at this i love watching these videos so i figured i'd start recording my process so i can remember what i did when I actually like something. So I'm adding some little uh, gold crushed glass into the center of my molds inside my resin, trying to wait for the resin to warm up and thicken up a little, little bit. Uh, this resin, you don't have to wait that long. Um, it's pretty, I'd say it's about a medium viscosity, so it doesn't take long for it to get to a level of being able to hold up the white i've found um, i have waited too long if you wait until it's a uh, like 35 degrees celsius the white in this resin for me anyway doesn't bloom so i'm just uh fiddling and messing around with these little gold chunks here as you can see um and i am going to make sure you can see everything here i'm fixing the angle of the camera. Uh, time to add the color. I put red in the middle, uh, an orange uh, on the next level, and then you'll see a mess of yellow around the edges. So, oh, here, I always forget to do this, and I'm always so mad at myself. I'm taking a little cake tool, I don't know, that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm moving the resin around on the edges to dislodge any of those little tiny bubbles that can make you mad when you demold. So um, I'm getting better at this. Uh, all right, so here we go with the red. As you can see, I'm a mess. I just start squirting stuff and it's going everywhere. Wait till you see the orange. My orange was like splattering and, uh, oh, there it goes, splatter everywhere all over my mold. Um, I love watching other people because they're so neat and tidy when they do this. I am a disaster. So if you're a disaster, don't let that stop you. Just go ahead and do it. It's so much fun. You know, uh, I was going through a really hard time when I discovered resin and it really helped pull me out of a funk. I love doing this so much. Uh, there we go with the yellow. I'm like, screw it. And already I think these are going to be a fail in my head. So we'll see how they turn out. I'm like, uh oh. I better add some more color in here. Let's put some more orange. Oh, there we go. Or is that red? I can't tell. I can't tell. It could be, oh, it's orange. All right. Here we go with the red. There we go. Let's get some color in there. Let's get it moving around. You go, girl. All right. So this is what we got. We've got a total mess and uh, we're going to add some more mess. Next, I am going to take the temperature because I don't want it to get too warm and too thick. I'm gonna mix up my white now, and uh, hopefully you're gonna see that. Uh, you're gonna see that I um, was worried that I didn't add enough white. So I'm mixing this up. I'm gonna eventually put it into a piping bag and uh this is uh sped up two times by the way because you know this is going i don't work this fast i might even speed it up some more not sure um take the temp of the white i think it was around 31 degrees here so i'm like uh oh i better get this in the piping bag so um i'm really worried that i don't have enough white but i don't want to put too much so that's the thought process here i'm sure if you work with resin you know how difficult it is to make that decision on the white uh now see i think i have too much white so i'm adding a little bit more clear resin who knows what's going to happen stir it up i don't stir that fast like i said it's sped up two times um i don't know what to say here i'm just gonna wing it i hope you guys are having a good time uh, i live in new orleans 
It's raining outside. I hope we don't get too many tropical storms this year. Uh, here we go. I'm putting it into the piping bag. And I guess I'm going to be piping soon. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. The suspense is killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. All right. All right. Clipping the end. Here we go. Here we go. All right, now my resin's super light. As you can see, now I'm worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't put enough pigment in here. What's gonna happen? These are gonna be a fail. I'm talking negative talk to myself. And I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just going. I'm doing some swirls. As you can see, I am not precise. I am not nice and neat. I just go around and around and my resin's disappearing. And I'm like, oh gosh, I didn't put enough white. That's what's in my head, but who knows? You know how resin is. You never know what you're going to get. But you can kind of, after doing it for several times, you know whenever you have a chance that it's not going to come out. So I'm worried right now that the white's not blooming. It's not thick enough. I got a lot of stuff going through my head. All right, then I go ahead and put these dots in here. I don't know why I did that. You do that after. But I started doing it before, and then I realized, holy shit, what am I doing? Anyway, I hope I leave that out. Um, all right, drawing the lines. Here we go with the lines. Drawing the lines gave me a little bit of hope that I might not have a total disaster on my hands. It started looking like a flower. I had to clear out that white I threw in the middle. Um, I've made this mistake before and it's come out pretty good. Like the little extra white in the middle kind of gives you a real nice 3D effect right in the middle of the coaster. Um, I do have those glass beads in there, so who knows uh, what's gonna happen. Your guess is as good as mine right now. Uh, I can't wait to find out. So here we go. I'm doing my lines, doing my lines, not those kind of lines. Get your head out of the gutter. So uh, what's next? I should speed this up some more here, but I'm not going to. Let's just go with it. Um, I love how you can see the reflection of my uh, respirator and goggles in the video. If you work with resin, I highly recommend wearing a respirator and goggles. Uh, when I first started, I did not, and I developed a really horrible allergy, which made my eyes all puffy and uh, gave me a rash, contact dermatitis. So resin is a lot of fun to work with, but you've got to respect it and you've got to wear your PPE. Um, all right, so now I'm just doing a little finishing touches, getting the little ends out. Um, we're gonna watch for a few minutes to see how the resin changes. And this is the end of part one. Uh, part two, I will come and demold this video. I mean, you know, I'll demold, demold the uh, coasters and see if we have any decent blooms. I certainly hope so. And I'm gonna pledge now that I am posting this video no matter what the outcome. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.